Good afternoon. We got a reason that we are doing this video this way. Um, unfortunately, when we actually went to the RV show, I had the mic on, but it was not recording. So <laughs> I said in my community post that this was going to be a little different, and it is indeed going to be a little different. We're going to do somewhat of a reaction to the video and um, just kind of let y'all watch us talk y'all through what we were going through and what we were seeing and experiencing. So I hope you like it. I have my handsome husband here to help me along so he can say his words. But um, yeah, we're going to roll into the video. I'm going to move us down into the corner of this video and uh, we'll go through it. In this video, we head back to the BJCC, but this time to attend the Birmingham RV show. And it was not long after we walked through the door, we saw the RV of our dreams. So I think we're looking at this one because we really want something of a, yeah, that'll pull the boats. Um, that's what we're really after. And uh, this definitely has the engine to do it, uh, but it will also give us the space we need within it. Oh, look at all that storage. So I'm telling you here that um, where we are, and of course it's my birthday, so I'm excited about that. Happy belated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's my love celebrating it with me. But that kitchen was to die for. All of the cabinetry, just just a lot going, going good for it. I am loving it. Microwave double door refrigerator freezer down below just a really 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 nice setup i mean it's like a small house it was yeah, it's like a small house on the inside i think about something like this you can just get on the road and you can really get across some country driving something like this you're oh, yeah. extremely comfortable yeah uh, extremely comfortable seats and as the primary uh driver um that means a lot because that means when we get where we're going, I'm relaxed. I ain't, you know, woe out from just, you know, white knuckling it on the road, you know, all the way down. And and we're able to do that now um, uh, with the with our truck and um, how it tows. It does a wonderful job, but you know, we all can't stay in the truck, you know. And uh, and something like this, uh, you know, getting from you know, North Central Alabama to the Keys, you know, with in one hop, you know, I think it's possible uh, instead of two or three, which we'll take now. And that's just from just being not wanting to arrive at our final destination completely road whipped, which we have done before. Oh, yeah. And we decided we're not going to live that lifestyle no more. We want to get there in comfort. Uh, and when we roll in, still have enough energy to actually enjoy a little bit of that day. So. You know, so when we look at looking at this unit, thinking about the practicality of how that's going to change the this unit. Is, this is the move I want to make. Yes. All right. So this one's, of course, a little different. Uh, of course, it's another tra uh, travel trailer. But um, I like the floor plan on this one. Um, it was just different with the Murphy bed up front. I've always liked that layout because you know you only use your bed so much, and and I never have <laughs> because I, I I may want to just lay in bed all day, you know. <laughs> and if the bed's in the living room, that's kind of uh, awkward for everybody. Yeah, well, if it's just the two of us, you know, this is not, of course, a unit that we even consider with with the kids. Even though it does have uh, two full bunks in the back, you'll see those. But Jonathan swears I can fit in that tub. I told him he'd have to use the jaws of life to get me out of it. But if you have small kids or something like that, you know, maybe a little puppy or something you want to watch, that is like a perfect basin yeah, real to nice. have in there. It's real nice stuff for kids. Yeah. And so... It's your, your magical refrigerator door. Yes. This is, he blew my mind when he did this. I just, I've never seen anything like that before. I didn't know refrigerators, I thought once they were attached, you had to just, you know, keep it that way. So the fact that I was, yeah, 
I was shook right then. If we had been in the dealer, she would have screamed, we'll take it at that moment. <laughs> the salesman did something like that. So I'm glad probably we was so. in there by ourselves. Probably so. I... So here, what I'm telling you is one thing, if you're ever buying a travel trailer or a motor coach or anything of that nature, make sure if it has slides on it that you get them to, tell, uh, to let the slides in. Because a lot of the times when you're looking at these, they're wide open. You see all of the open space and walking area. But when they come in, you gotta be able to get to your bathroom. If you just pull over, you gotta be able to get to your refrigerator. So just things to consider when you're, when you're shopping. And this one, it's just fun. <laughs> that's well, how, know, when I see this, I see, I see fun. I, I think we've always liked the truck camper format. Yeah. The thing is, is that just to find, like this is literally double the cost of the bumper full trailer we just looked at. Yeah. Um, I mean, they are they are incredibly expensive for the amount of space that you get. And for us, it would come with a truck purchase. Yeah, That's what you yeah. Said. Well, yeah, I have um, I have a diesel 2500 now, and I wouldn't pull, that's my own personal preference, I wouldn't pull a, a large truck camper with anything uh, smaller than the 3500. And honestly, looking at this, um, I'd want to get uh, a 5500 uh, with a flatbed and, and use it for a large truck camper. Uh, there are plenty of examples of photos on the internet of full-size 3500 trucks folded in half because they went and got the biggest uh, truck camper they could find uh, with two slides and, you know, and then they put motorcycles and everything else on it. And next thing you know, they look like an accordion uh, on the side of the road, so. And they turn all the way around too. This is on the arm. Huh? The TV's on the arm. It spins oh, all the way okay. around. Okay, so you can use it. And mm. So I can so you sit here, you know? Yeah. Got your controls up there. And uh, all of the cabinetry over the kitchen area. Yeah, I think we can make this work. Like this would, I would love to use something like this to go out west in, where you're not having to. You know, you're not worried about your length because mm. I think so many videos I've seen, they're like, hey, got to be under 30 feet to get through some of those. Oh, well, not just this, just the national parks and stuff. I have small sites. Yeah. So, yeah, and this, this, I, I this will desire, fit anywhere. I do desire to go out west. It's her being disappointed in the fridge. Go <laughs> anywhere. Because she thinks, she, you know, it's over for the rest of the fridges at the RV show. If it only opened one way, you know, you might as well just be uh, having to go outside and chip our blocks of ice. But it was a nice unit. So from here, we went in um, and looked at another Super C. Now, what I'm saying now is the other one was uh, ballpark half a million dollars. This one is a quarter million dollars, but it's further into the show. And I think that's so when you get and you see this and, you know, the show price was um, so around. Yeah, around 300. You see it. So it's only 300,000, right, you know, cause, right. you know, because the other one you looked at was twice that. So it's almost like a little mental trick. I think they try to play on you uh, <laughs> at, the, at the RV show. It does have some options. Yeah, yeah. So, was... so here, uh, ran into Marjorie, and um, she recognized me from the channel and came over to say hello. So thank you for doing that, Marjorie. It was a pleasure meeting you. And um, I hope you like the sticker. Put it somewhere fancy. But um, it was a pleasure getting to talk to you and just, you know, meeting a viewer. That's always cool. Going into this one, I can tell you, I was looking down at the floors because the floors were beautiful. I love, I just, I like all of the finishes in this one. I'm already spoiled from the first one that we saw. <laughs> I don't care how nice the floors look, they weren't heated and, and the other floors were heated. It has the upper area for like another bunk. You know, it's got, it's got more sleeping space. Like this will be something we mm -hmm. could probably make work with the kids. The other one, probably not so much, but, but this one for sure. And, and here I am, just so confused now. The, the refrigerator is just, hey, you know, I, I'm thoroughly confused on opening refrigerators. It's something I've been doing all my life, but. And I thought this one was a double as well. No, it's not. It's not, okay. No. Yeah, I see a, I see a hard I, hand I took shit. some time to, Okay. it was a minute. <laughs> way too much time like you can it. switch it but you have to manually take right. the bolts out and change right. it right yeah. and that's the way i've yeah. always seen for yeah, right. work i've never seen them be able to open that way this is a great bunk closet yeah we will talk about refrigerators the entire video 
since that was so fascinating <laughs> to you. Oh, it blew my mind. But this had a, a lot more sleeping space. It was a, a lot more family-oriented yeah. super seat. Oh, yeah. So um, I think overall it have similar uh, towing capability. Um, it didn't, um, you know, I like the other, uh, the the paint job they had on it as well because mm -hmm. the blue of that matched the blue of, of Manifest. So yeah. I just imagine that just looking absolutely fantastic going down the road. Um, so, oh, yeah. so here, I'm saying I think I would like two all-in-one washer dryers instead of a washer and a dryer because you could do the laundry faster. I've and heard that the I, combos don't function as well and that you have to run them twice as long to get everything clean and dry anyway. I so and, and so I think comment below what y'all think. Yeah. If you if you know if you use one, we're looking at Probably a lot use of more water. We're looking at say. a lot of new units yeah. that don't have the combos. They have uh, a washer Washing and a separate dryer. dryer. Yeah. So I think that's going along with what I'm saying. They yeah. figured it out. It's a gimmick. Know. I don't know. The combo is a gimmick. I like them. I've never used one, but it seemed like it'd be <laughs> seemed like being nice to have. So you can't go wrong with a dishwasher. You know, nobody really likes washing dishes on um, at any time, let alone on an RV trip. And then cut down on all paper plates and stuff we use too. Yeah, so make less true. waste. So that's, that's a fantastic true. thing by having a dishwasher. Yeah. Got a double double sink there. And uh, I think a two eye burner. Yeah, two eye electric burner. So it's fully equipped. I know you didn't like the cockpit of this one, you know. No, I didn't. Um, it, it seemed like the seats didn't weren't as adjustable as I expected them to be um, in the unit. Like honestly, I, I kind of see. Uh, see, it's just bored me. I'm sleepy about it. <laughs> I'm about to, about to put me to sleep. Um, I honestly, I could see where they took money off mm. to get to the. the, the 300, 200 range compared yeah. to the one that was in the five to 600 uh, range. So now we're stepping into some legends in the game. You know, Airstream has been around for a while. And I mean, they they make a, a really good product. Of course, no slides on these. So what you see is what you get on the interior. Just a, a really solid unit and, and beautifully laid out. But they've come a long way with the interior layout. Um, honestly, I think they've, Airstream has spent some time copying interior layouts that are, exist in the industry. Um, like you look in 90% of bumper pool trailers on the road right now, and it's gonna be that front um, bedroom, back bunk room, side of, um, you know, bathroom, kitchen format. And this essentially is what uh, we saw uh, in a lot of the Airstreams we looked at that they had here uh, at the show. They only had maybe maybe four or five, but they did have, um, they, okay, everything's good, everything's in yeah, place. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> but, pass up a mirror. <laughs> but they, they did have a good, you know, from a Bambi to, uh, I think a, a 30 foot is the largest that they had um, that we looked in. So there was some, there was some nice ones there. But honestly, it's it's tough justifying the cost of a new Airstream well, to me, you know. They um, hold their value, though. They, and, they can take that off the price. We always see they, <laughs> they, they do real good about giving you those little bins. Everybody know you can find those at big box stores. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the markup on that take, bins. Uh, take uh, $5 get to, a, off the price on there, and I think we'll be good. To get to $124,000, that's a, that's a, it's a lot. Yeah, that's, but, a, that's a lot. For but a, they do for hold their value. You can sell one you know, years later and, you know, not feel like you've lost that much on, on the, on the sale. They're, they just are solid. So this home on wheels is a fifth wheel and uh, it was a very nice. Price is what it is. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's a toy hauler. And um, you'll see some of the, the cool features that it has in it. But very, very well laid out as well. And one thing about the tour hauler, um, of course, we have bikes and, um, you know, always looking at like other toys that we may may have with us. Um, and again, like anytime we look at something, I think, well, how will we use it? And something you may not know. 
when we go to an RV resort and they have golf carts and we get the golf cart, that's my favorite part of the trip. <laughs> they see me rolling, they hate it. <laughs> like just riding around in the golf cart is absolutely fantastic. It makes it, you know, we're going to Disney in a couple weeks and I'm looking forward to the golf cart. You know, like other people are thinking, looking forward to some different rides and attractions. And um, so if you see me in Fort Wilderness riding around uh, in the golf cart, uh, just know I'm in my happy place. So yeah, this kitchen had some really neat tricks that it would do. I didn't pull that handle, but as you can see, it's a place where you can put your knives. And then of course that leaf on the um, island there lifts up to make just the full area. Of course, you got it fitted for some dog bows already. Sunny, I love that. Yeah, a little party bench there, right in front of the TV with the fireplace. I'll Can't be napping that. on that bench, it wouldn't be partying on. <laughs> and this area, of course, becomes two bunk areas. So it looked like about two queen or maybe full size beds. Yeah, two fulls. And it was, a, lo it was a loft bed above this as well. Yeah, I, I think know. I back up. Okay. I'll have to see. I think I back up a bit to get a, like a full view of everything. Yeah, I think that's what I'm explaining now. So. This could definitely work with the boys, but I think he said this would come with a truck purchase too. You wouldn't pull this with the twenty five hundred. People do it. I don't. I don't think they should. You'd need a dual one at least. I mean, they. You could do it. It'll, it'll almost be like when we had the fifteen hundred with this trailer. You know, okay. like it's it's doable, but yeah. we'd be a lot more comfortable with uh, a dually. Is really what I'm missing. The full ton versus three quarter ton is the big the dual wheel stability of oh. having, especially if it's windy. I just liked how I walked around in here. It was other people and, you know, you didn't feel like you were shuffling next to it. I just mm -hmm. took the scenic yeah, so route. It's, and, it's a lot of space in there. Yeah, lots of walking space in here. The bathroom was really nice, too. Still don't like the fact that it doesn't connect to the master. I don't know why a lot of RVs don't do that. It's just something about being able to get to your bathroom from your bedroom without going outside of your bedroom. It's, I really like that. Our current trailer is set up that way. And mm -hmm. we really like that floor plan. They're starting to really make them look like home. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it, it feels like home. The space and the walk around bed. Well, yeah, when they got to deal with a lot of these design furniture companies as well. Yeah. So you'll see that, I mean, just even in like the um, brush gold handles on the cabinets and stuff like that, oh. and, and the painted cabinets and everything else. There's the stools. Yeah, footstool the Island there. And I think this one had space for, like, they all had wash and dry hookups. I don't think it was installed in this yeah. one. This is a king size bed. I mean, when you're in front of it, you, you can feel it. One thing I will say, that's one thing. When I'm looking for a trailer, it has to have a walk around bed. We had a bed where you were crawling over to the other person. Well, you don't have to do that in a walk around bed and I never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Whatever. And when you're making the bed, you can get to it and not have to, you know, get on it to make it. So just little things you think about. So this is the Airstream Base Camp. And um, I mean, it has everything you need if this is the life you want to live on the road. And I, it is the bare bones. But at, at this point, more than any other Astream, this is something you buy just to have the Astream name attached. <laughs> Every other adventure trailer is better than this one. I do not opinion. like the fact that this bathroom does not have a dedicated sink. Like, I think they could have worked that in there somewhere. I don't like the fact that you gotta wash your hand where you be washing dishes and stuff. I'm just a little. There, there is no feature I'm that this has, that no feature that it has that's better than, than any other adventure trailer we looked at. And it's still double the cost. Mm. Yeah, when we looked at um, these other adventure trailers, five or six, it's, yeah. it's, it's uh, almost half the cost. Yeah, well, it know. don't have a full bathroom in it either. It don't have a wet head. Like, this is just living, like sleeping. And that's it. That's in, watching TV. That's about all you're going to do on the inside of this. Everything else has to take place outside or at a bathhouse. I hear you. Just you. don't have that. But if, you, if you're thinking about... It is a nice kitchen. Though. If you're thinking about blocks of cost. Yeah. You know... You spend fifty eight, sixty thousand dollars, you can get you a quality oh, books aren't come out. You can get you a, a, a quality trailer for that. Yeah. You know. It's one of the few outdoor kitchens we saw. 
Yeah, they, they've um, fallen out of favor, I guess. Uh, you know, but we did we didn't see as we many. We use ours. I mean, I we know wear we, it out. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we wear ours out. Forty five. That's not bad. And just think, we just saw it's a cheap in the base a camp. base camp. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. Goodness gracious. It's cheap in the base camp. Yeah. So I think when we walked in this one, we were like, this looks like it'd be a perfect unit for like homeschooling. Got a little, you know, couch there with a little pull across table. Got a little coffee bar over there. That's different. And a full bunk room. Oh, yeah. A little card table over there. I think, yeah, I think kids would love it. I think they bring in like um, the, the excursion back. For people to have this many children. Yeah, this is a, it's a lot. Because I don't, because I think about here. what kind of vehicle you should even have to hold this many people. Because uh, you like meeting truck. some people at the RV campground or, or something. And I know a lot of people do that. We see RV sites that have a lot of cars at them, so oh, I know yeah. a lot of people will, will share an RV. So this this will yeah. work in that case. Oh yeah. Very clean pointed kitchen. Don't know if the TV comes with it or not, but did not have it in there. So you, sure that's a question you'd have to ask, especially yeah. at a show. And as cheap as TVs are, they can throw that in. You know, <laughs> remove some of those plastic bins and yeah. throw in the TV. Yeah, they probably the mark was probably the same cost when you look at it on the itemized list. So for my ladies, I'm gonna point out right here. You gotta have one of those. You know, when you're in there shaving your legs, you gotta have something just to put your feet on. And not all of them have it, so that's something I look for now. Ours did not, and I ended up having to buy something to kind of put a makeshift up, but something to think about. For storage on both sides, and this is a queen. I think after coming out of the last unit, when I saw this one, I clearly knew that we were in a queen size. Well, so that wraps it up. And I mean, we, um, Loved it. We of course, shout out to Big Country Adventures. Yes, love seeing y'all. That was awesome. Got to see them earlier, meet them earlier um, in the year, and uh, it was great seeing them again. So we headed on, rich like right up the road to uh, uptown, and um, had a little birthday lunch. It's one of our favorite spots. Like I know during. Our regular lunch breaks. We'll go here. Baby got you got the shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I got the ribeye mac and cheese with some honey jalapeno fries. I'm loving this margarita right Here's now. All right, well that pretty much wraps up our couples outing. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you did, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. Look like it'll come off. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> we about to see. Uh, it's like, it's not the biggest wheel we could find, but yes, it's, it was, it's, it's really smaller than this one. It was a birthday present and, uh, it has spindles so he's <laughs> he's trying to see if it'll work because he because he loves me it's the little things right it's going to be cute if it works well, it's a, i think it's just a marriage thing you know <laughs> like sometimes your wife is gonna want to do something ridiculous <laughs> And your answer is just, all right. Yes, dear. You know, and then that's it, that's it, you know. He gonna like it too, you know. He, he gonna be back there feeling like Jack Sparrow holding these spindles. <laughs> Bring me that horizon. Lock bolt works, which I'm trying to figure out how this actually works.
Shout out to uh, Born Again Bowling. <laughs> you know, YouTube can have you feeling like you can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Why you laugh? <laughs> you know you think it's cute. You stop. spindles on it y'all of course we ain't, we ain't touching that one that one's that one's daddy's this one's mine <laughs> thank you love there you go folks bring me that horizon i don't know this needs to live on the boat uh, Hello. yeah, I mean, yeah, we could keep it somewhere underneath. It's like, it's underneath yeah, her. one of the I'll let you put it somewhere bed the storage compartments. We'll put it under there. I, I am a happy camper or a happy boater. <laughs> I like it. I think it suits me. Don't it? Yeah, well, happy for that birthday. Yes, this was a birthday gift you got for me. I love it. <laughs>